Independent optometry faces daily obstacles. Patients who can click and buy glasses online. Optometry chain stores on every corner. The need to see more patients in less time. Could there be a new direction for your practice? Train at Vision Specialists Institute and you might just find it. Welcome to the world of binocular vision dysfunction. I'm doing this work of neurovisual optometry now for 21 years, but when I started getting emails from around the country and around the world, it really brought home to me that this is probably a much more common condition that I'm working in than I ever even imagined. So it was probably about second or third grade I started having uh, migraine headaches. I would see double. I would have to close one eye in order to see one image. He would run into things. He would stand too closely to people when he was talking to them. He would never stand up straight. I had a lot of anxiety. And you know, I have ADHD, so I just assumed it was related to the ADHD. I always had this restlessness inside. Take our six-day neurovisual optometry training course and work as a healer seeing fewer patients per day in this financially viable practice model. You'll be part of a team of medical professionals treating balance and dizziness issues, headaches and neck pain, anxiety, and even reading and learning problems. When I have someone sitting in my chair and they have been suffering for so long and I start examining them and I say to them, I think I can help you. I believe I can help you. That is just such an overwhelming, wonderful feeling to really being able to care for someone and to heal someone. Binocular vision dysfunction is really any dysfunction with the way the two eyes are working together. Do you see the box through there? So tell me when it goes to one. Tell me when you see one. Oh, I see one now. And the symptoms these people have might not necessarily be a visual symptom. So they might feel clumsy. They might feel their balance is off. They might not be able to go into a mall because of all the visual stimulus. They might not be able to follow while they're reading. There's a whole host of symptoms that someone with a binocular vision disorder can have. Training with vision specialists in Michigan really helped me see my entire practice in a new light. This is the type of practice where something meaningful happens every day. Binocular vision patients often suffer well-meaning but ineffective treatment. So I've had multiple CAT scans, multiple MRIs, um, I've seen neurologists, orthopedic surgeons. I had surgery at the age of two and then again at the age of 12. Both his the eye doctor and his pediatrician just blew it off. I had been to ophthalmologists, I had been to optometrists. Holistic doctors, I've had acupuncture. He saw a speech therapist, occupational therapist. When I got older and I went back for follow-up, he actually wanted to do another surgical procedure. The treatment is simple in concept, but groundbreaking in use prescribing eyeglasses with small, fractional amounts of prism. When I got my glasses, the very first day, I felt that anxiety evaporate. I felt the muscle tension, the tension in my forehead and temples and on my head evaporate. The glasses have helped him out tremendously. Miles walks straight down a hallway. He doesn't need to lean. I went out to the waiting room and I just remember feeling like ah, just so much relief. Almost immediately my neck pain changed. Uh, my head went back the right direction. It, it, it was, it was life-changing. Vision Specialists is publishing cutting-edge research, probing explanations for the unusual range of problems caused by vertical misalignment of the eyes. The body doesn't like double imagery, so it's doing whatever it can to avoid it. So it's overusing the eye muscles. The problem has always been that the vertical misalignments are very hard to find. The amount seems to be very small, and the amounts that we're finding are below what are considered even needing treatment at this point. What we're doing with our prismatic lenses is we're actually realigning the images. Once that happens, those muscles get to relax. Once those muscles relax, everything backs off, which is why our patients on average get about an 80% reduction of symptoms. In a normal day, I see eight to 10 patients. 
On these training days, I see four, and I slow everything down so that there's time to come back to the room to say, okay, what do you think about what happened, and what did you learn from that case, and lots of time to ask questions. The real thing I've learned from her is just really how to listen to this type of patient, this, the certain symptoms that um, often traditionally we don't think of as binocular vision or even vision related symptoms um, or are rarely related uh, to vision. Um, she has a knack for being able to tease out the details that really uncover it to, to be a, a symptom that's truly within uh, our scope of practice. So what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to walk around in it. In many ways I think of this as old-fashioned optometry, but even with the training that I got, uh, we learned how to measure the eyes in the vertical plane and the horizontal plane, but we were left quite confused. We didn't know, well, what do we do with those measurements? I've got the measurements, but what do I do with them? And let me have you see how you feel upon rising. How do you feel? That feels good. Good. So we're going to do some walking. So as she walks down the hallway, what we're looking at is to see if she stays in the center, if she drifts to the right. When my brother-in-law, the ENT, Arthur Rosner, was my first patient, he got better with PRISM, and he's the one that actually said, you need to help my dizzy patients. And I said, why? What would I do with them? And he said, you're going to help them the way you help me. So it was really um, almost, I had disbelief. I didn't understand that I could help this population. As he began to send them to me, I had a big burden. The burden was, you better figure this out. These are sick people. The moment that you see a patient's life changed by uh, these small amounts of PRISM, you realize that it's not insignificant at all, that it's really life changing. And I think that that really caught me a little off guard. I think I would have been a little hard pressed uh, to believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. In the past decade, nearly 8,000 patients have found their way to Vision Specialist's Michigan office from nearly all 50 states and even overseas. With our reputation growing, a wide array of medical professionals now send us their patients, finding our methods to sometimes be the only ones that work. If it's a big misalignment piece of cake, I can take care of that. Sometimes it requires surgery instead of glasses. It's the small alignments, it's like that fine tuning, that's the tough stuff, and that's the stuff I send over to Debbie. She'll put just fractions, quarters of prisms, and it's that little bit is what the patient needs, and that's what they really respond to. I don't even know how Debbie does it. So transform your practice today with a valuable subspecialty. Take our six-day neurovisual optometry training course. Learn the Feinberg method of diagnosing and treating with prismatic lenses. Earn 40 continuing education credits, nearly two years worth in six days. Take home diagnostic and treatment equipment valued at nearly $5,000. Get ongoing support, including tips on billing medical insurance and how to market to new medical colleagues. We expect you to see a return on your investment after treating only 20 binocular vision patients. But most importantly for you, we are a practice changer. A solution for your patients who can't get relief from headaches and neck pain, dizziness and balance issues, anxiety and reading and learning challenges. I walked around out in the parking lot for 20 minutes with my test lenses on. I called my wife and I said, I was nearly in tears, and I said, is this how you people see all the time? because this is amazing. So come train with us and help build a national network of binocular vision specialists. You don't have to change your practice entirely, but you just may want to. Vision Specialist Institute. We're changing patient lives and optometry practices one optometrist at a time.